am back with another video. Do you feel me? Do you feel me? I don't think y'all feel me, but today basically you're going to see me transform into a corporate baddie, corporate girly, you know what I'm saying? That type of stuff. So, um, basically backstory, um, I graduated from college. I was a nursing, nursing major for three of those years. I got into my pediatric clinical, realized I just don't like this, um, and also the teachers were just really horrible, and I just knew I wasn't going to succeed, like, point blank period. Um, so I graduated with a liberal arts degree. I then was like, oh, I'm going to do child life specialty and work in a hospital, and I decided not to do that path. I feel like I really love marketing. I love graphic designing. I love all the artsy side of marketing. Um, so I've been trying to find a job in that. Now, originally, when I did want to do child life specialty, specialty, I um, wanted to enter into that with like experience. So I worked at a daycare for the past like six months. I just left my job in May, so I quit my job, um, onto new directions, big jump, you know. Um, took a lot out of me, um, but I've been looking for like marketing roles. Um, I had a hard time because I just have a bunch of like certifications around marketing and also I'm just trying to build like my portfolio of like the things that I design. So that's what like I'm working on right now behind the scenes. But um, I found a office coordinator job at a hospital and hopefully this could be a stepping stone into maybe hospital marketing or something around there. Um, obviously I'll do other like volunteer stuff maybe through marketing but honestly it's just like I'm trying to get in this marketing space and maybe this will be a second soon like hopefully we'll see what happens but basically to get to sum this all up at a daycare I wore a bunch of like workout gear like it was a very physical physically demanding job so now that I'm working at a like basically a desk job walking around like a floor like I need corporate girly attire so basically you're gonna come see me shop you're gonna see me change my hair because I just feel like I've had this hair since my birthday and honestly I need to do a review on this wig because this joint is a lifesaver but anyways um change my hair I'm changing my nails because this definitely doesn't give corporate girly vibes um and also you're gonna see me pack my like what I put in my work bag. So I just bought a bunch of stuff on Amazon. So stay tuned for that little Amazon haul as well. So yeah. That's all I got to say. But yeah, let's get it popping. I'm about to go to King of Prussia Mall, which is one of the biggest malls on this side. And I feel like I would get like the most stuff from there. So, and then you're going to see me try on haul, basically. Try on mall haul. That's a good title. Might have to use that. <laughs> Still getting used to filming in public, so if it's only a little bit of um, footage at the mall, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get over it one day, but you know, new YouTuber here. <laughs> For me, apologies for the wait. Sometimes it's hard to get the distractions up off you. For enough time to jot your thoughts, but fuck it, this morning I got to. I finished shopping. I'm about to go home and show y'all what I got. But I was running because I wanted to catch it before it started raining. It started raining already, but not as hard yet because I really didn't really want to drive in the rain. But it is what it is. And I was going to go to the hair salon today, hair store today. But honestly, I need to get back to my dog and feed him, so <laughs> I'm about to just go home. I think I'm going to just save the hair and nails for tomorrow. But yeah, I'm on my way back, and then I can show y'all what I got today. And not going to lie, this mall, like, you really have to keep your head on a swivel. Like, there's a lot of people that will follow you to your car and, like, take your bags or, like, follow you around in the store or, like, you know like stalker type stuff so I kept my head on a swivel I went boom 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 to every store 
And the thing about this mall, if you don't know about King Impression Mall, they're on their website they have a map and you can put like where you're at and where you're trying to go and they give you the directions. So I'm not about to be over here just running around the mall. Like there's no point that's too big of a mall for you to be doing that anyways unless you're just like window shopping. But for me I had a purpose. So I was gonna do it with a purpose. So but yeah, so I was nervous because um someone started following me a little bit. I don't know if they were meant to follow me, but you know me, I'd be a little anxious and stuff. So I thought he was following me, so I literally like you know those speed walkers? The old ladies be doing how fast these women are able to move in this very unique style. Yeah, that was me to my car. And I kept looking back. Um, I probably made him feel uncomfortable if that wasn't his intention, but either way, I got to my car and I'm safe, so I'm about to drive home now. Okay, bye. Y'all, I cannot wait to eat this bon chong. If y'all haven't had bon chong, you need to get with it. It's so good for no reason. And if you like pickled radish, you should try it. Or if you never tried it, try it. It's really good. It sounds nasty, but once you try it, it's good. And their kimchi is really good too. So yeah, you should get into that. I'm really about to eat because I haven't eaten all day, to be honest. Okay, but I'm back at home and we're going to try this stuff on. So I think I'm going to do H&M first. Um, I'm going to give you a brief overview of what I got. Classic stripe black and white tee. Um, I also got these black pants. These are really nice because they're lightweight. They're not that thick. Um, so, yes, wide high waist. I'm going to put all the stuff in the description below. But, yeah. So, I got some black pants. I got some tan pants. I have really long legs. And a lot of them are high waters. Like, I can't get around it unless, like, I go on Sheen or, like, Fashion Nova have, like, tall girl stuff. But then the tall girl stuff is too long. So, I'm going to just, like, play it off <laughs> some type of way. And then I got a chocolatey brown top. But I'm going to show y'all how it fits together. I think everybody should have a staple color. White, black, um, a color... A couple colors like just like you know spice it up during the work week and um, patterns so get a, a few pattern tops and then all you need is black pants tan pants and maybe navy blue pants in your set you could just like recombinate like re you know what I'm saying like switch them out a little bit you know what I'm saying so I'm going to try on I'm gonna show y'all what these pants are looking like I got this in a size 4 because they were running really big for some reason. So these are the pants. If I can put it in the snap. Okay. So they're high waisted, but I love it. Mm. Mm. Y'all see the pants. Y'all see the pants. Oh. Do you see the movement? The movement? The movement? And they reach they reach all the way down to my feet. The waist fits really good as well. It's not too tight. Put the top with it so you can see what it's looking like. I look you want to go to Nordstrom's Rack too because they have a lot of cute blouses there as well. So I might go visit that place, Nordstrom's Rack, because I'm not going to lie, this business stuff was expensive, okay? <laughs> like, everything was like 40 and above. I think these pants were like, these pants were $45.00. I'll look at the tag later for this top, but I'm like, dang, they're taking all the money from the corporate baddies out here. And then let me tuck this in so y'all can see. I'm going to look in this mirror over here, but I just want to tuck it in so y'all can see how I would wear it on an actual day of business. 
Boom. Blouse it out a little bit. Maybe button one more button. We don't want to be inappropriate, right? No cleavage. But yeah, it's definitely giving work work vibes. Um, I'm excited. This is the first outfit. Boom. 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 Get ready world. Corporate baddie coming through. I'm going to try the khakis on. Um, so I was like, maybe I can like cuff it so it doesn't look like as obviously like high waters as it is. So, show you what I'm working with. And this drone got two snaps, so it was extra sturdy. Okay. But they fit really well, like. And I don't know if you guys can see it. But like, the ankles is angling. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, let me not show you my toes. I know y'all got feet fetishes out there. I ain't trying to show y'all nothing. Unless you're trying to pay. Anyways. Like, it's very much high waters. But I think it's okay. Like, maybe it's meant to be like that. I don't know. I'm going to put on this top. Because I'm going to look like Caramel Macchiato. I want to give... Like, what are the words I want to use for this? I don't like coffee. But maybe this gives coffee vibes. Just give me a second. Just gotta button these up. So, how's your day going? Good? Bad? Oh, I hope it gets better. This is awkward. And then I'm gonna tuck it in again. And then I'm going to blast it out just a tad, tad bit. Um, this one doesn't have an extra button, but I think it's okay. Like, it's not showing anything, so it should be okay. But, um, you see it? Like, I need a brown bag for this. You know? I actually really love this. And the pockets are huge. Like, I can fit so much stuff in here. Like, it's real pockets. Not real pockets in the back, though, but real pockets in the front. The next thing I'm going to show you is the things I got from Zara. I just got two things because you know how Zara is, like, expensive. <laughs> For Zara, I've got some pink things because... I have such these monotone colors. I just wanted a pop of something. So I was like, and pink really goes well with my skin tone. I have a lot of other pink blouses that I can use. But um, the first thing I got are these pink pants. They have a bunch of colors. So if you go to Zara now, they'll have them in like, I think they had like a mint green, a forest green maybe navy blue black like y'all should definitely go to zara if you're looking for like cute uh work attire i'm gonna put these on and these are super high-waisted as well like it's almost touching it's like past my belly button like my belly button's down here and it's all the way up here these are actually really nice they fit really well like it almost feels like it was tailored on me like that's how well these fit on me. Um, again, the ankles are ankling, but I don't think it's a bad thing. Maybe? I don't know. They're semi-stretchy, not really stretchy. But I can still move around and do what I gotta do. I got this pink striped top. 
They also had a pink blazer, but it didn't match this pink, so I didn't really want to get it. I mean, I could have used it for something else, but I would have loved, like, the matchy-matchy thing, and it wasn't matchy-matching. So, let me button this up real quick. Oh, brother. I'm hungry. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to tuck it in. Okay, and then blouse it out. Maybe that's a little too much blousing. I think it's okay. But um, this is what it's looking like. But I love how it's pink on pink. It's very cute vibes if I want to pop up a color. And it's very cute if you want like pink on pink. Like it's a very cute vibe. Walking to the office with all that feminine energy. It can't tell you nothing, okay? Now, I went to Steve Madden. When I was in there, I saw this cute purse. I have to get it. Like, I think I'm going to get that, this purse as like a, um, whatchamacallit, like a, you're, you ever get a new job and you gift yourself for getting that new job? Well, I do that. So, I think that will be my gift to myself. But... So basically, I got some loafers. They look like this. It has a gold detailing. Um, and it's really snug back here. And it fits well. Um, he said it will take a while for it to basically mold my foot and warm up a little bit. Like, expand a little bit. So I'm going to show y'all what these look like on. But, yeah, as I was saying, I saw a person there. I'm trying to get it. I'll let y'all know. But I think it's like the new work shoe. I think it's in right now. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I think they're in right now. Because I keep I kept seeing on TikTok, and every store I went to had a loafer in it. So I was like, maybe it's a new thing. I don't know. That was basically the end of the clothes. I do want to get some navy blue pants and a couple more tops, so I'll see about that later on. But I think I'm going to show y'all the bag I got uh, from Amazon. I'm not going to show y'all what I'm putting in that yet. I'm going to put that later on the video, so stay tuned. But this is a sneak peek. Okay. I just opened it up, and it's not really what I expected. I'm going to show y'all. So, I got a puffer bag, right? But I thought it was, like, off-white tan, like, I guess this is off-white, but it's just giving too much yellow. Like, it's not giving eggshell, it's giving more, like, undertones of neon green and neon yellow. But I'm not hating, but it's not really the color I expected. Um... It has like a little clasp. You can clasp it. There's a zipper. There's also a zipper section here and two pockets. I don't think the inside is that well made. Like, I shouldn't be able to be doing this to a bag. Like, it should be stuck to the bottom. And also, this part feels like it's just cardboard. Like, or like something weird. I don't know. But I did have a bag I got from Sheen. So I'm going to see if they have this in a different color because I honestly feel like this was made a little bit better than I would say this. But I'm not hating, but I'm hating a little bit. I wish there was some more meat in the puffer part. <laughs> if that's how you're supposed to say it, it just looked, it looked like it needs some up in there. But, um, but yeah, so... I got like some other things, so please stay tuned for all that jazz. So that's basically the end of the haul. Um, I'm about to go get my nails done. I will see if I can do a video of that, um, but we'll see. Um, and then also I'm going to show you the bags. And I'm also going to the hair salon because I think I want to rock some bangs. Like, I don't know if that's giving like stereotype corporate girly hairstyle vibes. But I'm interested, and I really want to see what I look like in bangs. And yeah, let's keep going. Keep rocking with me. <laughs> okay, these are my nails. She, I did freestyle because I didn't know what I wanted to do. 
and she put like this iridescent dust in it i don't know if y'all can see it like it's so cute just got back from the nail salon this is what my nails are looking like they're super cute and they're so short like <laughs> they're so short i'm gonna have to get used to it um but i love it because it has this like iridescent i don't know if you can see it but it has like an iridescent shine to it which i love it adds a little pop a little spice i went to the hair salon i got a bang wig um it's not the best of wigs but i really did want to buy a nice one that i could wear for a while but it wouldn't have came in in time and also i'm about to go to uh, a dc thing and i don't want bangs so it didn't really make sense for me to get like a really nice nice wig that i plan on wearing for like a month so yeah so let's get into it i'm gonna show y'all what i'm putting into my work bag and then i'm going to show y'all what the wigs looking like and we can wrap this joint up okay so let's oh so let's get into it. <laughs> this is the bag. I'm gonna just put it in my lap while I discuss what I'm putting in here. So what I got on Amazon, I got a little like case for all like my personal items, hygiene items, stuff that I wanna keep separate from everything else. So it's literally just a simple bag. It also has a zipper as well in it and it's just a pink leather case, super simple. Um, so in this, I'm going to put like my hygiene type products. So I love bringing mouthwash. You never know what you eat in during lunch. You should definitely do it too because ain't nobody want to smell that stank breath. Sorry, some rant. <laughs> Coworker situation. I'm going to put spray deodorant. Is there something on here? Yeah, I got a mini spray deodorant. You can get that at Target in the toiletry aisle. A toiletry aisle. Um, I'm also going to put two pads one tampon and one panty liner that's just my basic like emergency like feminine care part i also like to bring some hand lotion i use aquaphor because this lasts so long okay um i put the obviously you can see i'd be using this like i need to get another one like do you see how thin this is i'm telling you it worked baby and also i'm gonna bring my what is this called Brazilian Crush 68 Brazilian Jasmine Pink Dragon Fruit um, Perfume Mist. I love this. Everybody's getting it. It's kind of like trending right now, but honestly, it really does smell really good. So I'm going to put that in there as well. And so I'm going to zip that up. So that is all my hygiene stuff. Sometimes I'll bring like floss or toothpicks, but um, I might put that in later because I don't think I have any that I can take away from my house right now. In this pocket, I'm going to put the gum. I feel like that's an easy place to put it. I'm going. To, th these are my two favorite lip glosses right now. This is the Ruby Kiss. I feel like everybody likes this. It's just really minty and refreshing and nice. I have it on right now a little bit, um, so I'm going to put that in there. I'm also going to put my Summer Fridays. If you follow me on TikTok, I did a video raving about it. Um, and also my cousin put me on and she has all these other flavors that I do want to try, so I'm going to put that in there. The next thing I got from Amazon is a to-do list, and it's so cute and small. I feel like because I'm going to be off an office coordinator, I will have tasks for the day. And I would love to just like jot it down real quick and move on. So it comes with a little string so you can mark your place. And this is what it looks like inside. So it has like the day of the week, your top priorities, and then just like check boxes where you can put a list of other stuff and some extra notes. And it's so small like. 
It's small. So I'm going to put that on the side. This is the most exciting part of my haul. I know it's small, but it's just so freaking cute. Like, okay, so it's called a light, a lighted makeup mirror. So let's see if it works. I'm not sure if it needs batteries or anything. It doesn't say. But it's this little compact thing. You're like, oh my gosh, what is this? And boom. Wait, hold up. Boom. It's a mirror. But hold up. And it lights up. So cute. Like, you could just, it's like a little, a little phone. Like, you could just, mm, mm. Mm, get into it you know what I'm saying and like it's just so compact like I feel like you can put this in in your um what should I call it in your purse like it can go anywhere so I'll put this in my hygiene bag Flip that up the next thing I'm going to be putting in here is my Beats headphones I do have I just recently got Apple headphones I go back and forth between the two but I really do like these a little bit more. They fit my ear a little bit more. I still have to test other ones. I just got them, but like, yeah, these are my babies, and the other ones are like my cousins. You know what I'm saying? Second cousins. Like, the love is just a little different. Yeah, so I'm going to put this in the pocket over here. Let me go get my wallet. This is my wallet. Um, it goes with one of my coach bags. It's just like a little, like, ooh, we're not going to show that part. Anyways, but it's like a little pouch. I have all my cards in here, and it's real handy dandy. And I'll put that in the zipper part. We need that locked and secured with the technology, okay? I'll probably put my badge in here when I'm not on the job. Um, I'll put my keys in here just in case I'm driving. And I do want to get either a taser or a pepper spray because I think I'll probably be choosing the option of public transportation just because they're not paying for parking. And also, honestly, it's going to be trial and error. We're going to see how it goes. Then I'm going to put all my um, pens and pencils in here. So I didn't grab a pack of pens. I usually just find pens around the house and be like, Yeah, that's mine. I'm going to bring couple of these highlighters these aren't highlighters these are my sharpies so I'm just gonna bring like a variety of colors green let me get a little blue in there I'm gonna bring this a pen let me make sure it works it works that'll be my pen hopefully I don't lose it and just one pencil if I want to jot things down um, and then I'm going to put this in the pocket as well I hate I absolutely hate it when like pens and pencils and stuff are at the bottom of the bag. It gives like middle school backpack vibes like when you had eraser and shavings and I don't know how y'all backpacks were set up but my John at the bottom was just like discarded stuff. That's all I'm putting in my bag for right now. Um, I don't think there's anything important except like I have a big jug of water bottle I would put a small one in there but I drink like a half a gallon I think it is or a gallon I think you guys seen it in my past videos but I drink from there I just hold that as is and also I'm just gonna use my lunch box from my previous job so I don't really need to do anything with that I don't do heavy makeup for work like I'm not about to put my skin through that like I'll just bring a lip liner Mascara, that's basically all I wear. Sometimes I'll mix a moisturizer with my foundation, but that's why I have I didn't put makeup in here because I'm not about to do that. Now I'm going to see how this wig fits. Um and show y'all how ugly it might be or how cute it might be. We gonna see. <laughs> I'm scared to show y'all. I look like somebody's auntie. I look like I look like somebody's aunt. I think I just need to fix the bangs a little bit. But it doesn't look bad. Like, it doesn't look... Hold on, let me sit down so I can get close to y'all. It's not bad, actually. I feel a little cute. 
it's like, should I put it behind the ear or not behind the ear? Like, I feel like behind the ear is giving anime vibes, and I don't want to give that. But this is so cute. Not the bang. The bang. Oh, oh. Okay, but let me get some shears. Where is it? Okay, so I got some shears. I don't really know how to use these, and I'm low-key kind of scared. I'm looking at this mirror over here. So if you don't mind, um, I'll just be looking this way. I'm going to do it over here. I'm scared. I feel like I should just leave it alone. I'm going to just do it. I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't be changing any anything. Just move the wig back. Oh, there we go. Okay. I love transforming into a corporate baddie. Like, I paid $11.99 for these. And they ain't doing squat. I think I'm just not going to touch it. I think it looks cute how it is. <laughs> into it. Is it... Is it... <laughs> is not bad I feel grown so y'all have seen me transform into this corporate gal um yeah so follow me on tiktok if you want to see like what I wear for my first week on the job because I definitely want to do that video so stay tuned make sure you hit the like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell and you know sharing is caring you feel me I don't think y'all feel me, <laughs> but see you guys next video.